from sitting around in this room, we all know that there's some work to be done. There are obviously a lot of the uh, similar themes that come up. And I think that what we really, what I heard today, and I'll let the governor finish up and conclude here, is that there are a lot of people who have the exact same goal in mind. How are we going to improve where we are in the state? How are we going to do it immediately? How are we going to navigate the great credit crisis of 2008? How are we going to actually move beyond that? How are we going to grow? How are we going to integrate all the different areas, whether it's education or whether it's the government and private sector and nonprofits, and how we all come together. And again, I go back to what I, how I started. Put aside finger pointing, put aside the blame game, and come to the table and say, let's move this process forward. You have already done a great deal to help in that. So, Governor, I think we're going to uh, count on you to carry the ball for the rest of the day, OK? I think, I hope you feel like uh, we, we, we set it up with some good presentations. I think there was really some meat there. Uh, you all, and, and I could tell the, the, uh, the kind of conversations that were going on and the things that came out. And although when you're number 16, 15, 16, a lot of things have been said, but it, it's fascinating to me because there's some consistency. On the other hand, there were some really good, uh, good ideas uh, that came out. Uh, so my first message is just a thank you. Thank you for putting in the time and being here because that makes you care about our state, which I know you do. So when, you, when I call back through, and the themes are pretty consistent, uh, you know, there, there are probably a half a dozen, there are a lot more, but we can, we can lump them together. And I'm, gonna, <clears throat> I'm not going to try to do that right now, but when you look at, uh, you know, all the talk about the education system, it all ties in, it ties in with what Arrington was saying. And, and I won't bore you now, we're, we're focused on that. There's a lot of things that need to be done, and particularly not just the, P, the PK through 12, but it's also the higher ed system. And I know we have that represented here. Uh, it's infrastructure, kept hearing that theme time and time again, infrastructure, need to invest in the infrastructure that we talked about. I, I hear it consistently, uh, the whole permitting issue, because I know it's one of my themes uh, when I first came in, very frustrated in the public sector, I said, the worst thing you can tell a business person is me. Now, the worst thing you can say is me. Because I've got, I've, I've, I've got to put an expansion out because I've got orders. And the orders got to get out the door. Now, if I can't do it, just tell me no. I you know, might not like it, but I can make other plans. The worst thing we do in, in the public sector is, is say me. You know, and then drag it out, drag it out, drag it out. Now, we're trying to do some things in there. This is complicated, as you know. I'm not trying to solve problems here. Just this, because this one is a real one I see time and time again, day in, day out. We really have been working internally within the state government to try and streamline that. we got a real challenge in terms of how the, the, the cities and towns integrate into that. Uh, and, and I think that it's something so I've been talking about a lot. But the whole permitting, the efficiency, the, the, the certainty of the process, if you will, uh, and right now, and in the broadest context, not just the complexities locally, but here we're, we're about to try and kick off a huge, huge, uh, I know a green, and what, what I think a green technology, a green industry is about. And the key, the key, and this is something that's actually going to need some help in Washington, frankly, and hopefully now the election's over, is, is if we're serious about an energy issue, you've got to get serious about streamlining the permitting and get it done faster because there's tons of money. Well, the feds are printing plenty of it. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of money out there. Uh, but, and, and projects are ready to go. They can have enormous impact, not only short run of jobs, but also uh, reducing our dependence on uh, oil, which is terrible. So lastly, let me just, uh, you know, I think we should all give Jill a round of applause. And So thank you, we're ready to do it. We're going to follow up. You'll get the follow up. So thank you very much.